we will discuss about a very important topic that uh, that people often ask this to me so I thought of discussing this with you okay. so there are two career options for people with mathematics and programming skills quants and data scientists they are very similar actually right? there is not uh, a lot of difference between being a quant and a data scientist but what's the difference and uh, more importantly who earns more who makes more money who got uh, who's got uh, a higher salary package in the job we'll discuss about it but uh, those of you who are not familiar with what a quant is or what a data scientist i'll talk about a brief and then uh, we'll talk about the the salary aspect of it and also different consideration uh, regarding that so okay, let's first uh, define what a quant is what a data scientist is well quant is a person who uses maths statistics to build uh, financial models pricing models in banks and data scientist is a very generic very uh, generic uh, role um, and it is a profile that you can find in almost all industries and people use statistics machine learning to use to build models for different purposes they are similar actually right quant build models data scientists also build models but quants basically work in banks they do not work in other sort of sectors banks or hedge funds or insurance companies but not outside of banking and insurance you won't find quants and quants basically use uh, more of uh, theoretical models right you need to master the theory of the models also not just unlike data scientists if they know how to use models that is fine but quants on the other hand have to understand the mathematics or theory behind the models so it's a bit different profile and quants um, uh, yeah the different the another difference is uh, quants uh, use a lot of uh, uh, applied mathematics less about statistics but they also use a lot of applied mathematics a lot of theoretical mathematics so stochastic calculus and so on and less of machine learning uh, it it is slowly gaining popularity in quant community but uh, unlike data scientists that uses a lot of machine learning quants use less of machine learning uh, more of statistics more of applied mathematics question is who makes more money okay so there are a few things to know um, so uh, let's talk about the salary then right who makes more money well on the top end like if you're a top quant or a top quant uh, data scientist uh, you earn the same salary you don't uh, there is hardly any difference at the top end so someone working with morgan stanley as a quant or goldman sachs these are the banks right uh, would earn pretty much the same salary as as the data scientist in Google or Microsoft because you are top of your game, so you make similar salary. Uh, could be that a quant makes more money, slightly more, uh, but on average, um, uh, the salary would be pretty much the same. Um, well, banking organizations basically pay a lot of money, right? Also, the pressure in banking is much more work pressure is much more work is more also on the other hand data scientist jobs in google microsoft uh, are uh, less uh, stressful jobs uh, so the salary at the top end is basically pretty much the same hardly any difference uh, but if you're working as a quant in uh, hedge funds then you make more money than data scientist so that's one thing but uh, there are a few things to consider here, uh, which is that uh, there are not many people who are at the top end. There are, most of the people are in fact at the middle end, right? Uh, they are not like the top 1% or top 5% uh, in their own sector. 
but what about people uh, that are not in the top five percent well among them the quants make more money than the data scientists almost always on average or in fact most of them make more money than the data scientists and there is a reason behind it because quants work in insurance and banking company who are the paymasters so they pay a lot of money uh, even to the ones uh, that are uh, in the middle level category but um, data science for data scientists is more of a generic professions um, well a couple of years back when there were not many data scientists uh, well even data scientists were we, we used to be paid very high but i think the demand because of the uh, supply of talent because now everyone is learning data science and the supply of talent is now huge so the salaries have come down uh, and other companies as as tourist in you know you know companies in tourism and in uh, aviation in education these companies cannot pay as much as banking and financial service companies so there you see a difference so in terms of average salary is much different but even data scientists do work in banks right? they make similar salary as quants uh, no doubt about it in bank if they are working in banking organizations but still you see uh, quants making more money uh, especially in the middle land because um, because of the domain knowledge because you have to have a very good domain knowledge in quant areas uh, some areas quants than in uh, working as a data scientist so that's one thing i can tell you from my experience that that uh, in the middle end quants make uh, more money especially in some countries quants make much more money than 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 the data scientists in in this particular category and then what about uh, the lower end right there also there is also a third category well it, there it doesn't exist uh, for quants actually um you won't find uh, quant jobs at the lower end very probably in small banking and financial service companies but not in most companies but you can find um, low end data science positions so that's possible and you can find a job there so so there you are better off being a data scientist because if you are at the very low end then you won't get a job as a quant the there is a huge entry barrier to enter to banking and financial service companies or consulting company that are catering to financial service companies so um at the lower end you are better off as a data scientist as a middle end you are better off as a quant at the top end it doesn't matter so that's basically the conclusion in terms of salary now if you're thinking about a career and uh, and you're a bit confused as to what you should uh, pursue um well um, if you are more of a math lover you love to do probability uh, problems you are you are more of a math lover than a programming geek you are more into math you are more into theory you really want to understand theory behind of all the math then i would suggest you better go for a a quant profile right learn lots of uh, quantitative techniques used in finance and banking and try to get a job in banking and finance but if it is other way around like you are more of a programming guy who wants to you know build products from scratch and less worried about algorithms mathematics and things like that then you are better off as a data scientist there you will be you will be very valued for your programming skills and less valued for your theoretical knowledge about algorithms well in some places you will definitely be valued but not in many places so you're better off being a data scientist right so the other consideration also like you know uh, finance is a very specialized domain so uh, you have to have some ex- um, uh, interest in economy and finance to be able to be a good quant but that's not necessarily the case for data science positions right i mean you can move from being a data scientist in aviation to tourism to healthcare to other sectors i mean it's more of a generic profile where you can easily move from one industry to the other 
but that's not the case uh, for quants you know quants uh, do not have many options uh, so you have to be then sure about the fact that you are interested in banking and finance uh, and economy and finance accounting uh, otherwise because you spend five years and then you don't like it you know you will not have many options to pursue a, a career in some other industry well some people do change from being a quant to data scientist and from data scientist to being a quant but that does not happen always and it's also very difficult so one thing to keep in mind is that if you love math and love economics physics uh, economics and finance then go for a quant otherwise if you are more programming geek better to go for uh, a data science job of course um, that's not the only way of choosing a career you can also think about other prospects right because in, in many countries you do not have any quant jobs right quant jobs are very concentrated in uh, financial centers such as london new york chicago um, you know big european cities uh, even even in singapore dubai india many places you have lot of lots of quant jobs but in many countries you simply do not have quant jobs but you have many data science jobs so it's also about um, access to different you know jobs that's not always uh, one consideration before you uh, start preparing yourself for a given job um other than that uh, money should be one of your uh, factor but but that should not be the main factor as you know if you are very best then the salary is uh, pretty much the pretty much the same all right that's what i wanted to talk to you today thanks for